All right, so today is the morning of day 78 with these two little red tail catfish. 78 days since I bought them. And when I bought them, they're about two inches. <laughs> they were really super small, like the size of a tadpole. And now they're pretty big. <laughs> they're, seems like they're growing faster and faster every single day, which is pretty amazing. All right, so I'm gonna take this filter out. These guys are doing a lot better since I started using that Melafix. And it's been almost two weeks since I did a water change. And yeah, it's starting to smell a little bit fishy. <laughs> a little bit fishy. So uh, maybe I have to go back to every week. And I think it mainly comes down to the carbon. I think I put like a whole pound of carbon in this. This is like a pond filter. And it seemed like it was doing great for the first week and a half. So it's just the last day, really, and it starts to smell a little fishy, which is kind of interesting. All right, so today we are feeding wild caught shrimp tails from the supermarket. And ever since I started using that Melifix, boy, their appetites really increased. They're doing a lot better, which is fantastic. All right, so I'm going to take this camera, put it in an underwater housing, and give you some underwater video. All right, so today's the evening of day 78, and I decided to do a late night water change on this catfish hot tub. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this hose, hook it up to that filter. I can actually just switch the valve on that filter, and it pushes water out of that little nozzle on the side, and I can pump the water out, which is pretty awesome. So what I'm gonna do, then I'm going to pump it down for about 30 minutes, which should pump out about half of it. All right, so I got it drained about halfway. That was about a half hour of draining uh, to train the hot tub about halfway. So I wanted to show you this filter. And it's been, I'm pretty sure it's been like two and a half weeks since I cleaned this filter. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't want to break it. Oh my goodness, it is jammed in there. Wow, all right, I got it. <laughs> Don't wanna break the filter, because I do not have a backup filter. So it's kind of interesting how the dirt kind of uh, accumulates on the inside ring. It must like uh, push the flow through that part first to kind of get it dirty. So I'm gonna have to clean that in the sink. I have to clean this in the sink too. I actually am in a, I'm on a well, so uh, I just use tap water, which is just well water. So not too dirty for that much time, two and a half weeks. So take a look at this. Look at how much carbon I'm using. I got a huge bag of carbon there and a huge bag here. Uh, lasted about two and a half weeks. So maybe, I don't know, maybe two pounds of carbon. Uh, for two and a half weeks, which is more than I thought that I would actually need. 
All right, so I changed the carbon in these bags. These bags are really nice because they have zippers on them and they're really super fine mesh where you don't lose any of the carbon, which is really super nice. Uh, I have a link under all my videos where you can buy the, the carbon and the bags. Probably the best investment I made. <laughs> I actually use these on all my aquariums now, which is pretty awesome. So these actually go in here. Hopefully I didn't overfill them. Hopefully they'll squeeze in there. So I'm guessing I could do the carbon every other week. That's what I'm thinking. Lasted two and a half weeks before it started smelling a little fishy. So maybe every two weeks. I guess it's good to let it go so you know exactly how long it lasts. So I'm going through maybe a pound of carbon every week, which is more than I thought. That's kind of crazy. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the hose to this thing and start filling it up. All right, so before we start filling it up, I'm going to add a little Melafix. This stuff is great. I've been using it in all my aquariums now. I just did a dose up in my cichlid tank. I have a, a sick fish up there. I don't know if Melafix is going to help. He's He's got some tail rot and he's bloated. Really he's super bloated like he's got some kind of an internal thing going on. I was just kind of curious to see how much this would foam. Because <laughs> this stuff foams a lot. Take a look at that. <laughs> That's pretty wild. That's a lot of foam right there. Wow. It's like a soapy bathtub. That's crazy. That's really crazy. Huh. I did not think it would foam that much. Look at all that foam. That's crazy. Huh. I actually put it in my aquarium upstairs. And uh, wow, <laughs> look at all that foam. Wow, that's crazy. And my Cicla tank upstairs has really fine bubbles all through it. It looks like the water is really cloudy. Oh, it's starting to clear up a little bit, maybe. Wow. <laughs> looks like you can scrub a dub dub in the, in the hot tub. <laughs> all that soap in there. It looks like soap, but it's this uh, medicine. It's like an a all natural antibiotic. Uh, for bacterial fish infections, tail rot, uh, ulcers and open wounds, damaged fins. Very interesting. All right, so I finally got this thing filled up after almost an hour and a half of filling this up. Filled it up quite a bit more than I normally fill it up, just uh, just a few inches from the top, which gives it quite a bit more volume in here, which is pretty amazing. All right, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow.